This is another episode in the Save the Bees Design Challenge. As you can see, we've got some pictures of insects that we're recognizing in this challenge. But this episode is about transmitting images using LoRa through these antennas back to the, the Crystal Base Station. So over here, we have a bee on a flower. We have a, a camera, which is an Arducam. Uh, and a, we have a magnifying glass lens here in, in front of the, the bee just to narrow the field of view for the camera. It actually has re interchangeable lenses, but I don't have any that uh, would be appropriate for this, so I had to put an extra lens in front there. And this uh, module is the uh, LoRa transmitter, so there's an uh, Arduino Maker One 1300 underneath here, which is talking to this ArduCam and sending the data from this uh, LoRa antenna over to this system, which is the Crystal Base Station. So I don't have the speaker hooked up, although it could be doing voice enunciation at the same time. And it's just receiving the data through this antenna. Now it uh, is going very slowly. It takes about 40 minutes to transmit that image from the camera over to the base station. But I'm in no rush. Now I could optimize the um, the transmission quite a bit more. Uh, it's actually tra transmitting one pixel per packet and I could um, transmit a, a whole buffer full of data in one packet but there's a lot of overhead with each packet and it was easier to troubleshoot this way uh, so that's what we're, we're waiting for this image to to come through uh, it's transmitting at somewhere around 38 pixels per second and it's a QVGA so it could take up to 40 minutes or so to transmit the whole image so I will um, be cut, cutting this video a little bit just to speed things up but uh, in the meantime maybe the image coming through is actually very nice I don't know if it's going to come through on the camera very well but it does actually look very nice on the screen And it's gone a little bit further, just checking in to see how far it's progressed. Actually, while we're waiting, maybe I can describe a bit about the rest of the system. So this module is a custom printed circuit board that has a connector for an ArduCam on it and it can host a Maker One MCU on the bottom. Now the ArduCam can actually plug directly into this card but I'm using a ribbon cable because I want to be able to put an extra lens in front of the ArduCam which is this thing and notice I have different positions that I can put the, le the lens if I want more or less magnification and it's got a GoPro mount so I can tilt it to any angle I want that's the GoPro uh, bolt right there So this uh, 3D printed housing for the ArduCam um, just snaps together. There's no uh, screws or anything in it. And of course it's mounted on a hockey puck base as I, 
as everything else is this also has a hockey puck base and now this can have a liquid crystal display on it just like the other device it could have the same display however I couldn't get the software to actually display the image coming from the camera because there was some conflict in uh, the SPI bus I believe they were running at different uh, clock rates or something and they just not would not play nicely together but that's okay because we're really just transmitting the image back to the base anyway um, we don't need the LCD out here I was just going to use that for troubleshooting so of course it made software development a lot tougher because everything had to work before anything would happen Alright, we'll check in a little bit later. Okay, I'm going to try and get this set up for a final vertical wipe so that we can get the last section with a video trick. Um, this is certainly a long time to transmit an image, but the real magic is that it's using LoRa to transmit the image and these antennas have already proven themselves to work within three and a half kilometers from my house and that's an urban environment with lots of houses and trees in the way of the transmission and it still gets out to three and a half kilometers so it should be fine on a average bee farm and uh, you can really get out into a field. If, if there's line of sight, you can go an, an awful lot further than that. Okay, the image has completed. It uh, waits about 12 seconds before it starts a new one. I've altered the position a little, but I'll probably just... Uh, show what it looks like after it's already transmitted instead of waiting another 40 minutes uh, or at least instead of video recording it for another 40 minutes so another episode in save the bees design challenge Unfortunately, the monitor is kind of out of sync a little bit with the with the camera frame rate, and we get that banding on the, the display. So I'm very excited to have this actually transmitting images over LoRa. That was quite a big step and a key objective of this whole project. So it's very nice to see that it actually works and all this hardware has actually come together with the software. <laughs>